In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Loft tool in 3D Max. So to use the Loft tool, it's actually a compound object, uh, but you need to start with a few shapes. So you can use any sort of standard shapes or draw your own lines. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just draw two outlines here. Um, the nice thing about the Loft is that you don't need to have the same number of points on each shape, unlike a cross-section, for example, if you're making a surface with a cross-section modifier. So um, the, I'm going to change the color of this real quick. So the Location of the loft will depend on the path of the loft. So you need one other line. So you need the two outlines, the two shapes that's going to sweep. And then you need one more shape, which is the path um, that's going to follow. So you can go into the path here and you can you know, uh, select vertices and move these, move these around a little bit. So there's some uh, three-dimensionality to it. You can you know, change some of these to corner or smooth vertices. So it adds a little complexity to that line or path shape. And then once you have the line um, set where you want it, um, it's going to loft these two shapes. And it's going to loft the shape based on the location of the pivot. And it will locate that pivot on the line. So, for example, if I go over to my Create tab and my Compound Objects and this drop down here and select Loft, uh, you can select, actually, let me undo that. Uh, I'm going to select the line first, then select Loft. And then you can see in the dialog here, it's asking you, to get the shape. So you can get the path or the shape. We already got the path. They selected that. So now I need to get the shape. I'm going to select that button and then select my first shape. And it will then sweep that shape along that path. Okay, and you can see it's sweeping it based on the location of the pivot. So for example, with this next shape, if I just uh, escape out of that, if I select this next shape, let's say we want to move that pivot location. We can go to the hierarchy tab, effect pivot only, and I'm going to turn on my snaps here and make sure I have my pivot snap on. And actually, I'll also make sure I have my um, endpoint snap on. And then I can move this pivot. If I select move, I can move this pivot and, and move it and snap it to one of these corners if that's where I want to loft from. So if I go back into my loft, I'm going to select my loft again. Um, go back to my loft object. You can actually locate these shapes anywhere along this loft. And this loft path goes from 0 to 100. So 0 is here, 100 is on the end. If I want this uh, second shape to be at 50% along the line, I can type in 50 here. Say get shape, and I can select my new shape. And you can see the loft from 0 to 50. And then from 50 to 100, it'll be that second shape. So the nice thing about a loft is you can actually use some skin parameters here. You can increase or decrease the number of steps in the surface. Um, you can select optimize shapes, which kind of is a different topology here. Um, you can try these different features. You know, adaptive sort of gets where the curvature is more. It'll increase the segments. You can turn that off if you want it more uniform. Um, so you can just try these different features here and see um, which one you prefer. There are also deformations, which I won't get into, but you can add scale along the path or twisting along the path. Um, but one thing that's really important, if you open up the loft, you can actually go back into these shapes. So I can select the shape here on the end, and if I want to, I can start to rotate rotate that shape. So if I, you know, if I want it to be rotated a little differently at that point, I can do that. Um, you can also still go into the line, even the original line, and start to, um, actually, if you just go to this one, you can start to adjust these points and uh, change the shape. So it's parametric in that you can always change and update that. If I go back to this original line, so I get out of my loft, and I select this original line, let me get out of this loft, I can actually make changes um, to this original shape if I move these points around. And it will also update on the loft as well. So it's kind of nice to have these things uh, over here on the side. It's a little easier than changing it directly on the loft. The last thing you can do if you go back into this loft is select the path. And you can go into um, the path and actually adjust the path as well. So I can start to move these points. So it's all parametric in that sense as well. You know, I could select this vertice, right click, make it smooth. One thing that's really useful if you're going to adjust the path is to make your object transparent. So to do that, you can right click on the object, go to Object Properties, and make sure you're changing display properties by object. Select See Through, OK. And then you can actually see the path a little better. So if I go back into the vertices, now you can actually see them. Um, you can sort of see how it's uh, doing that loft with those shapes. 
So I could select this one, right click and do smooth. Um, maybe get a little bit of better loft in that location. 